How to calculate GPA and CGPA. I will explain with step by step all necessary points in the calculation of GPA and CGPA. Let me move in my laptop now. GPA stands for Grade Point Average. For our simplification, we just use abbreviation GPA. GPA is an important part of the education system in ranking students. While it lacks a completely standard calculation formula, the GPA is nevertheless the most accurate way to measure a student's abilities because it accounts for their entire academic career, including the level of difficulty in both the courses and school. GPA formula is equal to the sum of total credit hours per course multiply grade received per course, then divide by total of credit hours per semester. Let me explain this formula, GPA calculation we need to follow four easy steps only. First multiply each numeric grade value by the number of credits the course worth. Second add these numbers together. This is the total number of quality points. Third add a total of credit hours per semester. Fourth divide the total of credit hours per semester by the total number of quality points. Let me explain how to calculate GPA with the help of the example. You will very easily understand it. Here one very important thing, you must know about GPA scale. The standard GPA is based on 4.0 scale. It will vary university to university. You will find this grade in your syllabus, university websites, and administration office of the university. Let's say, we have only four class this semester. The credit hours and obtained grades are mentions in front of you. First, we will simply multiply class credit hours with obtained grades points. Here in the first course, we have four credit hours and obtain A grade. A grade as per GPA scale value is equal to four. Now we multiply four credit hours with the four grade point. We get 16 weighted average grade for the first class. Similarly, we calculated the weighted average grade for rest of courses. Now we added these weight averages grade 16, 9, 9 and 20. We get the total 54 of weight average grades. Now we added courses credit hours 4, 3, 3 and 5. We got 15 total courses credit hours. In last, we divide total 54 of weight average grades by 15 total courses credit hours. We get 3.6 GPA in this case. Now you can easily calculate GPA of any semester. After understanding GPA calculation, now I am going to explain how to calculate CGPA. CGPA is also known as cumulative grade points average or overall GPA. We will use the following formula to calculate CGPA. CGPA is equal to the sum of GPA all semesters divided by sum of credit of all courses. Let me explain the calculation of CGPA with the help of an example. Let's say, one student has 22 credit hours in semester 1 and got GPA 3.5. In second semester 20 credit hours and got GPA 3.2. First we will multiply credit hours with GPA. Here in semester 1, 22 credit hours multiply with GPA 3.5. We get 77 weight average GPA in semester 1. In second semester, we again multiply 20 credit hours with GPA 3.2. We get 64 weight average GPA in semester 2. If we have another semester, we will follow these step as well. Now we add 77 weight average GPA and 64 weight average GPA. We get 141 total weight average GPA. Now, we add 22 credit hours and 20 credit hours each semester. We get total 42 credit hours. In last, we divide 141 total of weight average GPA by 42 total credit hours. We get 3.36 CGPA. I hope, you understand this concept. If you want to know the hidden methods, how to improve your GPA then you will comments below. I will make a video about this topic if a lot of students will show their interest in it. If you thought this video was valuable, please give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe and leave a comment so other people will know it's worth watching too. Thanks.